Hello, it's Simbird here and in the spring we're going to go on the Wild Forest Butterfly Trail. So I've just found this but um, we're just um, a few days before Christmas, so December 2017. So the butterflies won't be out but I quite fancy doing this and I'll do a video on the Butterfly Trail, Wild Forest Butterfly, butterfly Trail. Anyway, I'm going to read this. Welcome to the Wild Forest Butterfly Trail. This is a 3.5 mile trail that takes two to three hours to complete and has been designed to introduce the amazing diversity of butterflies found in the wire, which is wild forest. The butterfly trail continues straight ahead along the old railway line, which is here. along here and let's see what um, uh, butterflies we can find oh that's interesting the wire forest is one of the best places to see butterflies and moths in England containing almost half the number of total number found in the UK some of the most spectacular are fertility family of butterflies, of which three species still exist in, in the wire, wire forest. Nationally and region, regionally, this is a particular group of butterflies are in serious decline in the wire forest and is very important stronghold. All fertilities are, are very similar to one another on the up, upper sides which are orange with black lines and spots but differ markedly on the underside of the wing. The caterpillars of three fertilities share the same food plant, the common dog violet, but have varying requirements as to the areas in which the violets grow and therefore breed in different parts of the forest. Generally the more open and sunny areas are the best to look for adults. Okay we've got the pearl bordered fertility fertility sorry this is an early flyer and the first of the fertility species on the wing each year sometimes before the end of April so we've only got three months to go, January, February, March, and then it's in, we're into April. It is re relatively small butterfly with a wingspan of no more than four to five centimetres. The undersigned is beautifully mottled red and yellow, but as an obvious pearl, rectangular shape mark in the centre of its hind wing and another small pearl spot closer to the body. There is a small black spot close to the central pearl mark and a series of pearl spots along the edge wing. It flies normally quite close to the ground and feeds avidly on bugle flowers. So that's the pearl bordered fertility, <laughs> I said it again, Fritillary, and I think that's the the wings closed, wings open. Next we've got this is uh, help, that's a good uh, con conservation group to join the butterfly conservation group. You can join them. That's good. The small pearl bordered frit fritillary. Right, the small pearl. Bordered for cleaning that off. Fritillary is very similar in appearance to the previous series species, but is generally not seen until the second half of May, by which time the pearl bordered fertilities are looking rather worn and faded. It is similar in size and colour, although the black markings on the upper sides are thinner and more, more clearly defined. The markings on the leading edge of the of the forewing resemble the figure seven, 
3.0. I will have to look for that. However, it is in it is the underside markings that are a diagnostic with several pearl markings in the centre of the high ring and much larger black spot close to the center, central spot. In white, white is often found in the same place as the pearl bordered fritillary but is less widespread. That's its wing closed and that's its wing open. Just to compare them with the pearl bordered frit fritillary There we are. And lastly, the silver washed fritillary. I'm getting used to this fritillary now. This is the largest of the fritillary butterflies and has a much stronger and more purposeful, purpose, purposeful flight. Its wingspan is seven to eight centimeters, so it's almost double the size. Not quite, but it's bigger, so it'd be noticeable. It is larger and more familiar, familiar red admiral or peacock, slightly larger than those two. The butterfly is a species of high summer, summer generally on the wing from late July, when the smaller fritillaries have already largely gone until early September. The two sexes look rather different the male is a bright orange with black streaks on the forewing while the female is a dusky orange colour with black spots rather than streaks on the underside. The hind wings the hind wings of on both sexes are green with silver streaks. There look. Greenish colour on the underside the hind wing like that. As if they were washed on giving the butterfly its name, the silver washed, so it's been washed on like watercolours. Uh, the butterfly is a fast flyer but is very fond of nectar on bramble blossom and often allows close up views. There you are, washed green, silver, the silver washed fritillary. So we'll just go get an overview. The wild forest butterfly trail and we have the pearl bordered fritillary open closed the small pearl bordered fritillary closed open and the big one in in the, the summer silver wash fritillary washed there under wing and it's bigger it's uh, seven to eight, whereas this 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 uh, early one in uh, April is four four to um, five, and that one's that big. So we'll be doing that in the, in the spring into the summer, the wild forest butterfly trail. Hope that was helpful to everybody. This was Simbird, and happy uh, uh, well butterfly um, watching. Now I'm going to walk along uh, Wild Forest disused railway track. I've just come from down there. A few days before Christmas and all the snow's melted now. There's a bit of snow down there. Okay, hope you enjoyed that. And bye for me. See you in a bit.